What's up guys, Tyler Casey here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to use our new pack. So today I'm gonna to be walking you through our pay pack. If you guys wanna get the paid pack, the link's right down there below. Use promo code CINA5, you're gonna get $5 off. If you guys don't wanna buy it right away, we also have a sample pack for you guys, so make sure to check that out. There's also a tutorial for that one as well, but you can follow along this video and see everything that the pack comes with. So I'm gonna be editing in Premiere. This pack does work in Final Cut and DaVinci Resolve. It does not work in Sony Vegas, but we do have other packs that work in Sony Vegas. So I'm gonna hop right into Premiere and get started. So let's do it. What's up guys? So this is what comes from the pack once you unzip it. Uh, if you guys are having trouble unzipping it, maybe try it and download an unzipping software like WinRAR or 7-Zip. Uh, but you should be able to just double click it and unzip it. Uh, so here's the lean effects right there. There's that folder and here's the pill effects. Here's the tutorial. That's probably how you got to this video. So in lean effects, uh, we have accents and transitions. Uh, these are all transitions and those are all accents uh, so i'm going to bring everything into premiere uh, if you're on a mac you should be able to play these like uh, just by hitting spacebar but on a pc it's best to import them into your editor so let's go ahead and do that all right so here's our transitions for the lean effect so we have some pretty cool ones in here we have this bottle wipe and it also has a glowing variation to it uh, we have these wipes these are really easy to use i'll show you guys those um super simple uh let's just basically what you want to do is just drag these in the middle they're all 4k so if they're too big make sure you right click and click scale to frame size i'm in a 4k timeline so i don't need to do that so simple wipe across really easy uh, those are some of my favorites and they have a really cool look to them uh, you have also these screen splash transitions just like that and you can transition into the next scene. And if you want to flip any of these, like if you have the horizontal one, uh, you can easily just uh, come over to effects and type in horizontal. Double click that. It's going to apply, or maybe it didn't work. We'll drag that on it's there, and it goes left to right. You can also reverse things by going speed duration, clicking reverse. So yeah, there's plenty of like ways you can flip and uh, mess with these effects to your liking. And then there's these really cool ones that implement these lean bottles. And these were all like hand animated. So definitely gives your video a unique look. So it cut a little early right there. So let's try it again. Pours. And cut. Okay, so those are really cool ones. There's a bunch of those. There's like the pop off. Um, stuff like that and it transitions you just got to line them up in the right places uh, really easy to use uh, this is probably the ones with the wipes probably take the most amount of work which are still really easy uh, so let's say we wanted this to wipe to the next scene so what we can do is we'll just make a cut right there and we'll actually just create a mask so we'll find the very beginning and we're gonna click mask right there let's delete that first one create a mask and we're just gonna mask out the edges here and we're doing this to the clip on top and we're just gonna drag that out so we don't see any black on the edges awesome and then we're gonna click mask path right there so we're gonna create some keyframes and then the next time it moves we're just gonna drag it next time it moves we're gonna keep dragging it we could even just go a little further just kind of match the speed of it. We could maybe even just go all the way to the end and it might even just work. So let's watch that. So it was going a little bit fast so we can see where it didn't catch up. So it was going a little fast right there. We got to hold it a little bit. You might just have to go over it twice and just finesse it. Just make sure it's not peeking out anywhere. And if you want to feather this as well, that might help just a little bit. So this is about the most work you're gonna do and there's really not that many of these types of transitions. They just have a little bit cooler of a look. Uh, looks like you did a little extra work, but it's really not hard at all. So there you go, you got like a rolling lean bottle going across the screen, which is pretty tight. So let's check out these accents. So these accents are pretty fun. There's some cool bubble pops. Uh, I like using these like over the actual, like right in here. So we could easily just go like that. We can rotate them. You can track them if you need to track them. So like, let's say our scene's moving a little bit. It's really not, but I'll just move it up just a little bit. Just 
Hey, I went a little early actually because it hasn't started pouring. Um, and there's a bunch of little bubble pops. There's a whole bunch of bubbles, so I mean we could drag those in if we want to make it a little easier, scale those down. We would want to rotate them. And what we could actually do is we could just create a mask. We could draw a little mask around here, just like that. And maybe we we'll go around the pour stream, drag that right there. And then we could actually just feather this out. So now if we play that, it's pouring. So you got like all these boils, you could do a whole bunch of them. Uh, there's also this cool curve accent. You can drag that on to like highlight anything like an artist's hand or something along those lines. That one's pretty easy. There's like some drip. So I mean, this could even fall from the water. I mean, you could get creative, use these on anyone's hands, eyes, anything like that. Uh, it's really simple. All you have to do is just track it. You don't have to hand animate these. So this one's, let's scale it down just a little bit and let's have it fall from the water. Let's see, there it goes and it splashes in the water. So that's pretty cool. We can even shrink it down and bring it up just a little bit. So it comes out, drip, really cool. There's all sorts of little accents as well. There's like an overflow. This one's really cool as well. So there's tons of stuff to play with in here. And let's say you don't want these to be lean. You can easily just come into HLS and you can actually change the color of these effects and it does not have to be lean. You can easily change the color of these and change them to water. Look at that, now we have water. So it's a cool effect and you can definitely play around with it. So same thing with these pills, it's pretty much the same thing. There's a few masking ones, but not really. And those really just drag on and transition us to the new scene. A simple open and close just like that. There's all sorts of transitions in here and you can still add glow and all sorts of other effects to these if you want. So this you would have to mask just like we did before, but this is from top to bottom. You can add all sorts of effects to these. And then there's also the frames in here as well where you can get some really cool split screen effects. There's this cool four split one where basically you would just split your screens up. So what you would wanna do is you would just wanna scale this down, move it up over here, and then same thing with the bottom one. And then you would do that to all the frames and you could create some pretty cool stuff with these. So you can see it just like that. That's pretty cool. There's also this cool four split one that has the intro animation as well. So you can literally just drag these all the way up. However big you want them, drag your clip right there. And if it's not fitting all the way, you can always just draw a quick little mask. Um, you might want to feather these just a little bit because they do wiggle around so you just want it to look nice and soft and just make sure you have those dragged out to the edge. You just want this feathered right here where they overlap. And then you would do that for the clip underneath. You'd make it big. You would fit it right in between the frames. And I have a more in-depth tutorial on these when you watch uh, the Paper Effects 1 and Paper Effects 2 tutorial because they're similar frames like this, also in the money effects. So if you guys wanna just see a little more in depth on how to get like some cool effects with these, make sure to check out those tutorials as well, even if you haven't bought the packs. And you can see you can get some really cool trippy effects with these. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to comment down below. Let me know if you guys got the pack, if you enjoy the pack, if you guys have any other ideas for future packs because this was actually commented, someone commented this on Instagram and said, hey, you guys should make a lean effects pack and a bunch of people like the comment kept commenting so if you guys have ideas we're definitely listening and we definitely want to keep knocking out packs that you guys want we have more free packs coming soon so make sure to hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're notified i'm tyler casey i appreciate you guys watching i hope you guys found this useful i'll catch you guys next time thanks